The family of a mother of two shot dead by her boyfriend yelled, thank you, as the jurors left the courtroom today after finding him guilty of murder. Turiarangi Tai shot a chosen koroheki with a double-barreled shotgun at their Pakaranga home in April of last year. Our reporter Laura, Laura Tupo has been covering the trial at the High Court in Auckland and is sitting beside me uh, in the studio here. Hi Laura, what happened in court today? The jury was out for more than 12 hours over three days and they came back with a verdict this afternoon. The, the verdict was guilty um, for Turirangi Tai of murder. Um, Ms Koroheke's family were in the courtroom. Her father's been there for the whole trial. It's been three and a half weeks. Um, they were sitting front row holding hands. His, his head was in his hands and he was, he was weeping while the verdict was read. Mr Tai was in the stand. He looked quite nervous and as the, as the guilty verdict was read out, he, there was more crying from the public gallery obviously and um, just a huge wave of relief I guess for them. Uh, there was another person on trial too, right? Yes, yeah, so Mohi Ofo Manu Levu was on trial for being an accessory after the fact of murder. She was terrified, she said on the stand, she was terrified she had to phone a taxi for Tai. He turned up at her house early one morning after he'd been on the run from the police for nearly two weeks. She was found not guilty today and acquitted of the charge. Uh, so what actually happened on the 4th of April last year, the facts as they were laid out in court and as the jury accepted them, I guess? So Ty was showing off a double-barreled shotgun to Nason Koroheke, which who's Chosen's brother, and Samantha Douglas, who was Nason's girlfriend at the time. Um, later that day, he started packing up his car and he threatened to leave, which wasn't, a, you know, which was a regular occurrence. So he got in the car. He yelled out to Chosen for her FPOS card so he get petrol. She said no. He went in the car up the driveway, turned back around. Chosen saw him coming into the house and said he's got, a, he's got a shotgun, he's coming in with a shotgun. So they were all in Nason and Samantha's room at the time and the court heard he came into the room, he whacked her over the head with the shotgun, he aimed it at her, he lowered it, he yelled a profanity and shot her in her right hip. Um, so straight afterwards, Samantha ran off to phone the ambulance at a neighbour's house. Nason phoned the ambulance from the room and Turirangi Tai um, was sitting beside Chosen and stayed with her until the am ambulance arrived and then fled soon after and, as we heard before, was on the run for almost two weeks. Mm. His mother pleaded to him to hand himself in and he did. Uh, you talked about his mum and you talked about Chosen's dad. What was the reaction from the family, specifically Chosen's family, after the verdict? Yeah, they didn't want to speak publicly, which is obviously fair enough. They did have a spokesperson, though, Mike Tuili'i. So he said that the Korohike family wanted to thank the police for all their efforts, um, the prosecution team and victim support. Ms Korohike was a mother of two, so she's got a three-year-old son and a five-year-old daughter. So they said at this time they're really just concentrating on their well-being. And also it will be a year since her death next Wednesday, so now they're really just going to concentrate on the unveiling. Laura Tupo, who's been in court and uh, is in the studio. Thank you very much indeed.